Becoming a UX designer wasn't an easy journey for me, but in this video, I'll give you a guide to help you transition into a UX designer in as little as three months. Hi, my name is Destiny. I'm a senior product designer and design advocate working in Canada with over a decade of experience in UX design. I'll break this video into three sections and each of these sections represent each of the months to give you a detailed breakdown of some of the steps I would advise you follow if you're deciding to become a UX designer in about three months. So before you get started with all of this, this is what I've advised those that I've mentored or taught in the past in becoming UX designers. You need to go through what I call a mental detox. Forget about what you think you know and prepare your mind to get new knowledge. This is a new field that involves lots of training, lots of experiments, and you should have an open mind to be ready to assimilate some of this information. If not, it will just seem like everything is working against you. So you want to have a mental detox, take a look at your surrounding, prepare yourself mentally, physically, and make sure that you're in the right state of mind to begin your amazing journey of becoming a UX designer. For the very first month, what you want to focus on is what I call the basics or foundation. You want to have an information overload. Go to YouTube, you want to consume as much as you can in the field, reading like UX books and resources to grasp as much fundamental concepts and principles that you know to exist. Now, this doesn't mean you're learning and trying to remember everything you learn. At this stage, you're just gathering as much information as you need to know to just give your mind that necessary boost it needs to start thinking towards the position and the tax you have ahead for you. Within that first month, you also want to know some of the tools that exist. You want to know the difference between UX and UI and you want to understand what design principle means. These are very key fundamentals and these are words used a lot in this role. So just having a general understanding of what these words mean will help already give you a better understanding of the role you're about to go into. And when you're done with most of this, I would advise you join a design community to keep you motivated. Motivation is one of the strongest things you're going to need right now because some days you won't feel like reading anything or doing anything. But if you have a strong design community to keep you motivated, you'll get that support you need. And speaking of design communities, if you'd like to join our newsletter and community, we'll leave links to this in the description below so we can help motivate you weekly or monthly to make sure that you don't give up on your dream of becoming a UX designer. So you've gained all this knowledge. You've gotten some information, you've gotten a lot of things on your mind, all of these are just scattered, you have nothing to do with it. This is where it comes to the second part where you need to start streamlining and getting your hands dirty. By getting your hands dirty, I mean you need to start working on a pet project. Now we're not saying you should go for something really complex, you just need something as easy as even creating like a timer, a one pager of a web one app. You just need something to help you put a visual representation to most of the theoretical knowledge you gather within like the first month and to start giving you a clearer picture of what these concepts are, how they are being implemented and how you get to use them. I want you to, at this point also, you need to pick a design tool you want to focus with and start a project with it. For me, I use Figma because I feel this is one of the best design tools and if you need a link to get Figma for free, I'll leave one in the description. But there are other design tools like Sketch and Adobe XD so you can really decide which one you want to use, pick it and start getting used to it to start your first pet project. Getting ahead with your first project, I want you to try and replicate about 10 different products from either online on YouTube or even the Figma community for web and mobile. Look at these projects, try and do it exactly the way the original designers of this have done this project. Your aim is not to try and be better than them or just get it exactly. Your aim is to try and understand how some of these things come in play. So do not necessarily focus so much on the process at this stage. You just want to get as familiar as the tool as possible because remember the tool doesn't make you a UX designer but learning how to use the tools will also improve and set you apart from half of the UX designers out there. When you started some of this your project, you want to start learning about user research methodologies. You want to learn about user interviews, surveys and usability tests. Now these are some other complex methodologies and buzzwords that evolve around making you a UX designer and they will also help you in when you're seeking for job after all of this and looking for interviews. You want to just understand what these concepts mean, how they apply to UX design and keep them at the back of your mind as they will be needed for you in the future. When you're done with most of this, within that second month also, which is a very busy month for you, you want to start trying to prototype. Now prototyping is a way of bringing some of your interactions to life and giving users and developers or testers a clear understanding of what your design wants to do for them. So learning how to prototype in either of the prototype tools, for me I still use Figma to prototype. 
We'll also give you an example of how to start taking advantage of some of these complexities in the design application. And when you're done with that part, though this might sound strange, I want you to try and seek for mentorship. Mentorship is a very good way to gauge your success, to see if you're on track, to gain the amount of knowledge you've had and also to get that motivation you need. You want to start networking and connecting with other designers on LinkedIn, on Twitter or Instagram and just start surrounding yourself with people around the design world as this will always make sure your TL is filled with design articles. When you're lazy, when you're tired, when you want to binge watch, the design articles are always in your face that will give you that motivation and boost to go back into doing the work. Remember, this is just three months and theoretically speaking, it is really difficult to learn a new skill and be good at it in three months. But with this set of plans, you will at least have an edge and understanding of what you need to get started into becoming a UX designer. Going into your third month, which is the third section, this is where you make it or break it. I want you to go all out and you want to start to try and create a project from start to finish. This project you'll be creating will be different from what you did in the second month that you were just copying designs and trying to replicate it. I want you to actually follow a design process and try and create a case study from that process. Creating that case study will also make you learn how to create a case study, what a case study is and how to basically evolve around one. Now we know this will not be perfect and that's okay, but it's the effort and the repetition that we are looking for to try and get you used to this so it doesn't seem One of the things I would advise for you to do is to try some of the design challenges that either gives you like a 30 day design to do or a 100 day challenge to do and just use that to design daily as this would help you improve your design skills and put all you've learned together in one piece. Now finally and the most important is that you should know that this would be extremely difficult and this isn't really the best way to learn a new skill so I would advise you to pace yourself. Nonetheless, this guide I've given you is like a roadmap to tell you some of the things you need to understand within this short term if you're looking to become a UX designer. And if you'd like to get more clarity on your career or review your portfolio and CV, I have a link in the description where you can schedule a call with me personally or you can send in your CV and we can look at it, help you revamp it and get you ready to get that job you deserve as a UX designer. If this video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel as you help us grow and also help this video reach those that need it. And if you'd like to watch any more of our videos, try clicking any of the link on the screens and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.